Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today we are doing best sandalwood perfumes um, in my collection on the market maybe. I don't know. These are the sandalwood perfumes that I absolutely love and some of you actually asked me in the comments Gabby, can you please do a sandalwood perfume video because um, this is a note that is just so good for the fall time, for the winter as well, but especially for the fall time. And I do really, really like this um, note, okay? Sometimes it can be too much, okay? But in general, I do really, really like this note. And I just want to share with you everything that I've got in my collection. So, before we start, if you like this video, don't forget to big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and now let's jump in. All right, let's start this list with, I think, the only designer. Well, I do have another one, but that's my private collection. I'm talking about Zati and Voltaire. This is her. I don't really like the bottle, but listen, the scent, it's absolutely amazing. This perfume has, obviously, sandalwood, okay? And then you're getting some vanilla. Not, like, a lot of vanilla, but you're getting some vanilla. You're getting whipped cream. Plenty of whipped cream, like it's so creamy, it's almost like it's kind of delicious. Okay, it's like a delicious sandalwood, and then you're getting some chestnut as well. Has other notes, but I don't really smell anything else. It's this super creamy, it generally has a texture of whipped cream, but then it smells like sandalwood with some um, chestnut. So, yeah, it's 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 all like almost gourmand, it's not like 100% gourmand. Um, because it doesn't smell like a dessert necessarily, but it's such a good sandalwood fragrance, and then it's affordable as well. So you you 100% if you like this note, 100% you need to check Zati and Voltaire. This is her next. Like I said, I have another designer, but it's private collection. This one is Caban from Isanora. Caban, oh, Caban, it's a very powdery, still sweet, not like it's like extremely extremely powdery to the point where it irritates your nose nose but it's a powdery sandalwood with some tonka bean <sighs> for me it's again it's mostly a, like it's, it's about the sandalwood i can smell some tonka bean i can see why it has tonka bean as well because you have to make this perfume a bit sweeter but it, it, it's such a good one like it's such a good one it kind of reminds me maybe just me i got a sample of a Santal 33 was it a sample no some someone gave me a sample like this is once or something like that and it reminded me of Caban it reminded me of Caban now I've never tested them side by side so I don't know um but I, I knew I was like mm, this kind of smells like Caban but I do prefer Caban so yeah it's powdery sandalwood with some soca bean it's beautiful tested um it's in Saint Laurent so you can find it in like an Yves Saint Laurent boutique but yeah, it, it's a good one. Like, it's such a good one. Caban, obviously from Isanora. Next, let's move on to a different type of sandalwood, okay? We have Fragrance du Bois, Santal Complete. Santal Complete, it still has a bit of like, it's a bit powdery as well, but it's like super concentrated sandalwood with some a coconut. More like toasted coconut this fragrance is warm and cold in the same time it just smells very luxurious when you wear it like this is the type of fragrance that you need to wear on the skin you can't just spray it once and be like oh i like it or i don't know go to the uh, fragrance dubois uh, counter or selfridges or wherever they they have fragrance dubois and just spray yourself okay they doesn't matter what the sales assistant is saying, okay? You just go, go do your thing, okay? Go spray yourself and then you can say, I like it, I don't like it. It's such a luxurious sandalwood. Not necessarily my vibe, because normally with sandalwood, like I said, I like very powdery, creamy. This is like quite concentrated, but I do really like it. Like, I do really like it. And presentation, all of that, you already know, it's fragrance du bois, obviously it's gonna be like, whoa. Um, but yeah, it's such a luxurious sandalwood perfume. Fragrance du bois, Santa Complete. Next, 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 next. Ooh, something that again, has sandalwood, but it's not, it's not the main note, okay? It's just not the main note, but you can still smell it. BDK, Gris Chanel, not the X-rate, just the original. This one is, I just love it so much, sandalwood, with some fig, with some cardamom. I think it has some tea as well. The X-ray version is way darker. It's stronger in my opinion on the cardamom and on the black tea. That one has a black tea note. In this one, you can still smell the sandalwood. It's exactly that cold, 
a bit powdery, a bit creamy Sandra Wood that I like. But then you're having the cardamom that I think is the star in this fragrance. You're getting a bit of fig that is not too green. I feel like that just makes this fragrance a bit more aromatic, still like creamy. And then you have a tea note that again is nothing too crazy. It's not too green. It's not too like tea like it doesn't smell like generally tea. It's just like the perfect mix of these four notes. It's such a good one, perfectly unisex, and um, I feel it smells great on a guy, on like a woman. It, it's stunning, it's stunning, stunning, stunning. You have to check this one out. Again, the X-ray version, it's way darker, way, it's more masculine in my opinion. So if you want a cardamom, sandalwood fragrance, check this one out, the OG first, and then you can try the x rated as well. BDK Gris Chanel. All right, let's move on to the type of sandalwood that I normally like, okay? And that's like creamy, powdery, oh la la from Teo Cabanel. Oh la la, opening might not be for everyone, okay? Opening for me, it generally smells like new clothes, which is a smell that I absolutely adore, okay? Like I'm working in retail, so all the time when I'm getting new clothes, I'm like just sniffing it. I love that scent. And then the dry down, is this creamy again creamy powdery sandalwood basically the type of sandalwood that i normally like with some tonka bean it's super cozy it's very i don't know it's cozy it gives you this like fluffy thing going on it's, it's such a good one comforting it's such a comfort cozy and comforting scent i really really like it i know they have like smaller bottles i think they have like a 30 ml for this one as well I bought myself the Je ne sais quoi in a 30 minute. I'm pretty sure they have for oh, all la as well. They have sample kits, things like that, so you can try it on. Um, it's really nice. Like, I really, really like it. It's unusual. It's not going to be something that you find on the market, like everywhere. But I, I do like. I do really like it. Oh, la la from Theo Cabanel. Next, something else that is quite unusual. I just love it. It was love at first sniff. Tam Dao from Diptyque. Tam Dao. It's again sandalwood with some cedar. I think it has some coriander. For me, this perfume is. Let's, let me spray it. Oh, it's like sandalwood with something aromatic and a, a bit incensey. Even though it doesn't have any incense, it's just slightly incensey and very aromatic but sweet in the same time. Like the sandalwood, it's sweet and it's creamy. Then it has this like aromatic thing. I, I just love it. Like as soon as I sprayed this one, I was like, oh my God, this is stunning. I need to buy it. And I, I bought it like immediately. Um, someone said on Fragrantica that this reminds them of like a temple. I can, I can see that. I've never been to one, but I can see that. Oh, it's so cozy, so aromatic. So it's, it's a masterpiece in my opinion. It's absolutely amazing. And the sandalwood again has something nutty as well almost don't think it has any like almond or anything like that but it has almost something nutty it's a sandalwood that that's the note that i smell it that I smell oh it's it's stunning you have to try it is the eau de parfum i tested the eau de toilette as well eau de toilette was nice was cute but the eau de parfum was way better in my opinion tam dao eau de parfum from diptyque next we have the like ultimate sandalwood okay l'orchestre parfum Piano Santal. Piano Santal is sandalwood, again, of course, with milk. Uh, I think it has some uh, cashmere in it. I think it has it has a skin note, which sounds very weird until you actually like test it. When you test it, oh, you're gonna understand why it's super milky, like and sweet and creamy. And a bit powdery as well. It's everything that I like. It's super cozy. Nothing, I don't know, too, too nothing too much. Nothing too artistic in the way we're like, oh my god, this is like way too strange for me. No. And I, I do get that skin note. It generally makes your skin smell nice. It doesn't really feel like you're wearing a fragrance. It just feels like you, like your skin smells this nice. Oh, it's it's such a good one. You need to like sandalwood, okay? If you don't like sandalwood, you're gonna find this perfume maybe I don't know, just another fragrance that smells okay. 
but if you like sandalwood and if you like that creamy sandalwood that creamy a bit powdery you know super cozy you're gonna fall in love with this one okay actually i think i, I still have i think i still have a coupon code for this perfume not just for this one for like the whole um l'orchestre parfum um brand so i'm just gonna leave it in the description box but it's, it's, it's such a cozy beautiful milky scent amazing uh piano santal from l'orchestre parfum and now the last one the last one that is not necessarily just about the sandalwood but if you like something a bit of gourmand touch but you want something a bit spicy as well mystic experience from initia <sighs> mystic experience is it's one of my favorites okay like it's it's such such a good one it has coffee it has obviously a sandalwood and then you're getting some amber as well but everything it's blended so well everything it's I don't know, like the same amount, you're getting amber, then you're getting the sandalwood, and then you're getting the coffee, and they're all mixed together. It's not more coffee, like lots of coffee and a bit of sandalwood, no. All of these three notes are mixed together, like, equally. It's such a good one, like, that coffee is not black coffee, it's not, I don't know, coffee beans, it's just a very smooth, and then you're getting that, like, creamy, again, creamy sandalwood, and then the amber just makes it a bit like sweet and a bit more appropriate for fall and winter it's a it's, it's a stunning 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 fragrance i love it you need to get a sample or go to the department store and test this one out because i feel like with initial yeah it's a very popular brand but i don't feel like lots of people are talking about mystic experience in particular so the last scent that we're having here is mystic experience from initial not everything for today because i just realized i forgot to mention two fragrances that i absolutely love and are both very strong on the sandalwood have no idea how santal black from van cleven arpels it's a beautiful again creamy powdery mostly powdery sandalwood but it has a coconut note coconut in the opening is not really sweet actually it's not sweet at all it's pretty fresh but then when it starts to dry down it's getting sweeter not not gourmand don't think gourmand but it's getting sweeter and it's a beautiful sandalwood fragrance but probably i forgot about this one because it's more like a summer fragrance i would wear this one in the summer evenings and the other one that i can't understand how i forgot about this sandes um sandes from stefan humber lucas absolutely amazing sandalwood gourmand uh, for fall and winter i'm generally wearing this and i forgot to mention the video this is basically a very dry dusty sandalwood with some cacao with a bit of amber it's amazing it's not fully gourmand okay but it's a sandalwood gourmand fragrance you need you need to try this one i have i just purchased another um fragrance from this brand i have in total four fragrances but this one is still my favorite it's one of the best sandalwood in my opinion if you like a gourmand touch and that was it for today guys that was it please let me know in the comments down below uh what is your favorite sandalwood fragrance um if you ever tasted any of these if you like them if you don't and all of that and yeah that was it for today thanks so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to pick thumbs up subscribe to my channel and like always i'm gonna see you in my next one Bye bye